Hi, I'm Scott Smith, and I'm here with your Light Tech Light Tip. And our lovely model today is going to be Renee. Today, what we're going to go over is a positioning of your light and your light modifier. The light modifier that we're going to use today is a large soft box. The larger your light modifier is, is a softer light. The positioning of the light, however, is going to affect how the light is going to come out. If your light modifier is closer to your subject, the light is a lot softer. So if we want our light to be a little more shadowy, a little more contrasty, we'll now take our light and we'll move it farther away from our subject. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my light modifier, I'm going to get it into the position that I want it in, and then we're going to start shooting. This is the only light we're going to be using, and it's going to be coming in at the angle at the same time. It's going to bounce off of our white floor, so we really should have really minimal shadowing until I pull it back. All right, our settings for this particular shot is we're going to have our white balance set to the lightning bolt to coincide with our strobes. Our shutter speed is at 1 25th of a second, and our aperture is at f8. OK, great. Hold it just like that. Hold it right there. Perfect. Super. That's it. Yeah, come over your shoulder a little bit more. Yeah, just like that. Hold it right there. Maybe a couple more like that. That's fantastic. Hold it right there. One, two, three. Very good. Hold it right there. Very good. Just like that. One, two, three. Good. Perfect. Hold it right there. Let me get two shots like that. Hold it right there. One, two, three. Good. Let me get one more. That's great. Hold it just like that. One, two, three. Okay, those shots look really good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the light modifier and we're going to move it away from the subject and we're going to cut a couple more shots. Now that we moved our light modifier back, we're adjusting our aperture. Our working aperture now is 7.1. Okay, we're ready to shoot. Hold it just like that. Great. Super. Hold it right there. Good. Good. Go ahead and turn around for me. Yeah. I'll turn your head. Yeah, just like that. Hold it right there. One, two, three. Don't move. Let me get another shot of that. Hold it right there. Good. Hold it. One, two, three. Good. Okay, hold it just like that. Good. One, two, three. Good. Flip your hair over a little bit. That's it. Great. Hold it there. Perfect. Hold it right there. One, two, three. Alright, those shots look really good. So remember, the positioning of your light is important as of what effect you're trying to get. The closer the light modifier is, the softer the light's going to be. The farther the light modifier is going to be, the little more sharper it's going to be. I'm Scott Smith, here with your Light Tech Light Tip, with the lovely Renee. Remember, only use your lighting skills for good, never for evil. <laughs>